Welcome to R&D with myself, Dan. I have to keep moving here. Uh, as I introduce the show, this is Dan Plays Daisy. Robin Dan Plays Shit. Dan Plays Daisy. Episode 3. Got the, got the numbering wrong on my WoW episodes while I was trying to raid. That's not embarrassing at all. We're heading down towards the town of Solichny, so then we can head north to Berenzio. And then north from there to... I believe the town is Krasnostev and an airstrip there. But for now, we're just trying to make it back to the road. We left the road very recently in rural country and we're running back to a major road. As you can see, there's town uh, structures down there, and you can see. Now we're going to avoid most of it just because they're low grade drop buildings and there's not much of import in them. Yeah, I could get some camos, but the risk of going into each house is pretty high. And without a party to cover me, uh, risk doesn't really feel worth it. There are those power lines again. We could have followed the power lines here directly, that's what I usually do, but I felt like taking a detour. I'm just going to take a look around here shortly. See what we have to deal with. Zombies. Zombies. Nothing. Zombie. Alright. We do not need to be on the road to follow it. That's a very important tip to remember. You do not have to be on the road itself to follow said road. It is perfectly fine to run 10 or 15 meters inside the forest next to the road. In fact, it's a lot safer. If you lose sight of the road, just backtrack, figure out where you are, and get right back to moving. You do not want to sit in one place, and you do not want to be exposed out in the open. You'll also notice I don't use the numpad keys to look around much. I prefer actually turning the mouse to look and then using the movement keys to compensate. I do that for one real reason. It's that, well, two reasons. I need to count. I need to learn how to count. Uh, which is, first off, it's what I know. I, I'm not used to using the numpad keys to look around at all. I'm used to swiveling my mouse and my reaction time on the mouse swivel is a bit better. Secondly, I like to be able to actually point my gun in the direction I'm looking, no matter what direction that is. Even if I'm running backwards, I want to be able to point the gun in the direction in case there is a threat of sorts. Then I can stop, I can hit my right mouse button, I can focus in, and I can kill whatever the threat is. As always, I would like to thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't listened to the Robin Dan Show before and you're tuning into this episode, we appreciate it. Make sure you listen to all our podcasts over at rdpodcast or rndpodcast.com. We have an RSS feed set up there as well as feeds for both our Twitters, our personal Twitters, where you can find out not just information about us, but about our personal lives, what we like to do, that kind of thing. That seems to attract the kids now this day and age where you just have to know everything about everyone. I don't mind, to be honest. Still following the power lines in the road here. I'm not stopping for any of these houses. I really don't feel like clearing right now. I know I'm lazy, I don't care. I keep hoping one day to find an intact car, but sadly that's not the case. The other reason you don't want to run on the road, by the way, is that you're much more visible while on the road itself and not in grass or something. It makes you a lot more vulnerable to being spotted by zombies and attracting the horde. Which is bad. Oh, that's a zombie sound. I don't see him. Uh, I don't like the size of this building. I'll go around it. Oh, 
I'm iffy about these large complexes that don't drop much loot, if only because I don't think it's worth the risk to actually enter them at all. In fact, you can't even enter that building in the first place. Now, one thing you should look out for if you're going through complexes like this is if there's a guardhouse on an entrance or exit to the complex, it's a good idea to check it. Because the guardhouses have a, a decent chance to spawn weapons. Especially if you're just starting out. Weapons are important. You have to get your hold, a hold of a gun first. Or at least very early on. Let's see what's in here. Oh, big fat load of nothing. I do believe that's the majority of what's here, too. Gosh darn it. Gotta keep moving here. Again, trying to stay off the concrete. Don't don't be on the concrete when you're running. Soon enough here we're gonna get to the get to the action of actually having to clear through a town, which we can see right up ahead. That is the town of Selichny. We've made it there. It only took us two and a half episodes. <laughs> Checking my personal map here. We will not be going into the town itself. We're going to be heading slightly north of it. To the factory. Nothing really spawns of con consequence in the town itself. The factory, however, has a very nice spawn. Now, if I really wanted and I was that kind of douche, I could camp out here and wait for a noob to spawn so I could pick them off. I, however, am not that kind of douche. I, I will not stoop to that douchedom. Many times my Play experience has been ruined by someone who's camping the starting zones with weapons that should not be in starting zones, and it has absolutely ruined my game experience, so I try not to do that. I'm gonna hit this gas station over here. Sometimes gas stations have nice spawns, usually they have nothing, but it's good to check them out just in case. Again, it's part of making sure you're getting all the loot while your opponents are not. Very important, especially when you're getting up to areas uh, of military occupation like airfields where other players will literally camp out for days and days just for someone else to come by. take this nice and slow. Once again, slow and steady wins the race. In case there are any zombies inside, we'll be able to take care of them easy. You can hear the ocean off in the distance if you listen carefully. Ow. Oh, just a jerry can. Do not want. Oh well. There's the factory off in the distance. I have only been to the complex once, so I don't know the area too well. There's supposed to be some kind of spawns in this house here. Oh, I see. It's right up front. Oh no, player one was killed! We killed off player one a long time ago, son. Just garbage. Nothing interesting. There are some buildings off to our left here that we could check, but I am not too interested in that. 
Uh, my interest is on the farther ones. We're gonna keep moving here. Gonna want to avoid this farmhouse. It is unopenable, and there are no spawns in the area. There is a barn off to our front and center with a nice farm complex that could have some very delicious weapons and whatnot in it. So that's going to be our first target of salvaging here in the Solichny factory. That's what I'll call it here. This is the Solichny factory operation. Fence, fence is spawning in. Kind of shocked me there a little bit. Like, whoa, what's, got, what's that going on? It's always important to keep eyes and ears open. Many players, especially the snipers who like to camp, will turn their audio up really high whenever they're just sitting around waiting for someone to pass into their field of view because they will, whenever they hear someone moving around them, simply log out as soon as they hear that noise. There's the farming complex, so we're going to head inside here. One thing I would like to do, if I can survive long enough, is actually set up a camp for me to store stuff. You can set up your own campsites to store goods. Other players can then pilfer that site if they find it. Did make noise though. I have to do this fast. Just a steel bolt, not worth it. Moving. Try and pick that one off. The hell was that noise? down. I was able to that other one is wounded. Since he's not bothering me, I'm not going to bother him though, at least for the time being. I'm going to hope we can keep it that way because one less zombie I have to shoot, the less ammo I have to spend. Although I did already expend one shot on him. Not too happy about that, but it happens. Alright, nothing in here so far. I'm going to check the side door. Someone's being told to check their fire. Okay. That's, uh, that's nice. That's, uh, that's wonderful. Nothing in here either. I'm not liking this. Someone's already been through here. This is a West Coast server, but it looks like a lot of this has been pilfered already, which I do not like. One bit. That makes me feel very nervous about the situation. Moving through here. There's that other zombie. There's our barn. I'm gonna finish taking him out. And he's down. It's nice to be slow methodical like that. It makes your life a lot easier. If you're playing this game, trying to run and gun, you're gonna have a bad time. That's gonna be all for this episode though. I'm gonna sit down here, take a short 
food break, or at least my character will be. And then we're going to be back for episode 4 of Robin Dan Plays Shit, Dan Plays Day Z, right here on YouTube.com slash The Robin Dan Show.